I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For our morning meditation let's turn to Proverbs chapter 15 verse 22. Without counsel purposes are disappointed but in the multitude of counselors they are established. The above scripture has many deep messages in it that each child of God needs to understand. for a stable spiritual life God created man in his own image and likeness and man can never inherit the unique qualities of God which God alone possesses forever and one of these divine qualities is that God is omniscient and therefore God doesn't need any counselors to help him none can ever match the wisdom of God God has never committed any mistakes in the past and he will never do any any mistakes in the future also but we human beings we need the help of others we need the counsel of others so that our purposes are fulfilled as our small wisdom is limited and we do not know anything about the future we need others counsel so that the advisors or counselors may help us to take the right decisions and we may move on in our life and here comes our folly which we commit many times in fact on a daily basis we claim that we are children of god and we we surrender ourselves daily to the perfect will of god but let us take a look at our prayers Are we not trying to counsel God offer him our ideas our suggestions our desires that seem very good for us using our own wisdom and we are very happy if God gives ear to our suggestions and works according to it and if our prayers are not answered that means if things do not work according to our desires then we get disappointed and we walk around with a gloomy face and we are really upset with our heavenly father but this scripture clearly teaches us that we need counselors but our heavenly father who is omniscient does not need any as he is all sufficient in himself to take every decision that is perfect in itself so let us trust our heavenly father and submit ourselves for his divine will that is perfect and best for us Let us not pass on our ideas and desires to our Lord through our prayers. Let us learn from our mistakes and move on gladly accepting the perfect will of the heavenly Father. And then comes the next part where God has kept counselors for us. As our heavenly Father knows that we cannot move forward with our own limited wisdom in this evil world. And that is very much required for our life here. If not man who is corrupted with sin will try to be the lord of his life and will be filled with pride ending up in great destruction both in this world and for the life in eternity even before the fall god gave adam a helpmeet named eve so that both can move forward as a unit and fulfill the purpose which god intended for them it was good for them if they had eaten from the tree of life and moved forward but they listened to the counsel of the enemy and ended up in destruction and it is a warning for us in our life let us always be careful to take counsel from the people who love trust and fear the lord even if the person whose counsel seems to be very wise according to the worldly norms Let us diligently check whether that person fears the Lord and trusts the ways of the Lord. If not, that counsel which seems good for a while will end up in a great disaster in our life. That counsel may even become the cause of death of our spiritual life. For the children of God, God had appointed the children of Levi to counsel them and lead them in the path of the Lord. 
they were appointed to teach the people about the law of god which god had given them to guide them in their path but as they were not careful in their walk the scripture says they all walked in the ways that seemed good in their own eyes they ended up in destruction let that not happen in our lives we the partakers of the new testament let us be careful about the counsel we take for our lives because the enemy will try to deviate us from the right path through many counsel just as he did in the garden of eden we do not have to worry as we have holy spirit god with us to guide us in all truth if we lean on to our divine counselor then he will guide us and help us to discern every counsel whether it is from god or not we need to always remember that we are being called by god with a divine purpose and for the fulfillment of that purpose god has appointed his servants who will help us in our spiritual journey but everything needs to be checked is it based on the word of god if we sincerely love the truth and trust the lord with our whole heart then our heavenly father is faithful enough to keep us safe from all the false counsels that brings harm to our spiritual life the true counsel may not be comforting for our ears but it will help us grow in our spiritual life and fulfill the divine purpose in us let us not think that we are self sufficient in ourselves as we are the children of god because it may lead to destruction as we may be filled with pride unknowingly but let us seek divine counsel that helps us grow more closer to god and grow to perfection in our spiritual life may the lord help each one of us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning thank you for your word thank you for teaching us thank you for your corrections lord we need counsel we are no one to give you counsel lord help us to trust you and happily follow the path that you have set before us on the other hand lord help us to be mature enough to discern the counsel that others give us help us to walk in the path that you have set before us instead of depending on others counsel help us to lean on to you so that your name is glorified through our life thank you lord thank you lord may your name be glorified in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless us our lord is coming very soon maranatha